is Chu from Liu Ba Mighty. Today we are going to talk about awake, awoke, awoken. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hmm. Last night I dreamt that I was eating cream puffs until my alarm clock rang. I awoke and after that I could not sleep anymore. What? Do you say that it seems strange to use the word awoke over here? Of course, I could have said I woke or woke up to, which is more commonly used instead of I awoke. However, it is perfectly alright to use I awoke. In fact, I could even use I awakened. Hmm, getting confused? Let's talk about the differences. Wake or wake up basically means to stop sleeping or to make someone stop sleeping. It is commonly used in everyday conversations and writing. There are two other words which have the same meaning, although they are usually used in more formal situations. And these two words are awake and awaken. On this side, you'll be able to see all the verb forms of the word awake. In a base form, you have awake. In the present tense forms, you have awake or awakes. In the past tense form, you have awoke. And finally, in the past participle form, you have has awoken or was awoken. Did you realize that the word awake has very similar verb forms just like the word wake? Both of which are irregular verbs, which means they do not simply add ed to their past tense and their past participle forms. Over here, you'll see the word awaken. Notice that they are two separate words. The base form is awaken. Present tense form will be awaken or awakens. Past tense form will be awakened. And the past participle form will be has awakened, were awakened. So awaken, unlike wake and awake, is actually a regular verb, which means that it adds ed to its past tense forms and past participle forms. Do not be confused and think that awaken is actually a verb form of awake because like I mentioned, there are two separate verbs. Hence, you can actually say, this morning I woke up to, or I awoke to, or I awakened to the smell of banana pancakes. You can also say, John was woken up by, or you can also say, John was woken by, or awoken by, or awakened by his brothers. Finally, two things to highlight to you while using all these verbs. Number one, awake can also be used as an adjective. So you may come across sentences that sound like, I was awake when you called, or he was wide awake in the middle of the night. So in these examples, awake is acting like a description to say that someone was not sleeping. Hence, it is not a verb and it is purely an adjective. The second thing for you to take note of would be that there is no such word as awoken. There is awoken as you can see over here as the past participle form of awake. However, there is no awoken after that. There is only awoken. So do not be confused and start using this word because no such word exists. Well, if anything, I would advise you that whenever you are in doubt about using the words awake, awaken, awoke, choose the safe option and use the words wake, woke and woken instead. It conveys the meaning of not sleeping or to make someone not sleep and it will be a safer option for you and minimizes the errors that you can potentially make if you're unsure of the various verb forms. So are you still wide awake at the end of this video? If you are, leave me a comment to tell me what do you like to wake up to in the morning. I'll see you again!